Hi, my name is Alan Hawes and this is PSOC 101. You might notice that I look a little bit older and there's some gray hair and a different colored shirt. Well, unfortunately, I made an error back in the day, so I'm here to fix it. Now I have a UART to print out information and I want to show you a couple of extra components that are very useful for digital design. These are the control and status register. These registers are the interface between the schematic and your firmware. I want to reuse the basic counter project that we did a while back. Instead of driving the LEDs, I'll connect the counter to a status register. This will allow me to see the state of the hardware from my firmware. In the C code, I'll read the register and print the result to the UART. Start by making a copy of the basic counter project. Add a status register to the right of the counter. Give it a sensible name and reduce it to just a two-bit register. Note that the bits are in transparent mode, which means that the registers constantly update with the value on the input terminals, as opposed to being sticky, which means they hold their value until you read them from the firmware. In sticky mode, the register must be clocked from the schematic. However, if all the bits are in transparent, this is not necessary, and so I will just place a logic high on the clock terminal for completeness. Now, add the UART. Give it a short name and use the DWR file to pick the pins that connect to the kit prog. Generate the application to build the API functions. The C code is really easy. Start the UART first. In the main loop, read the register, and if its value is changed, write the value to the UART. If you write a carriage return character but no line feed, then the UART will continually write the value of the status register to the same position on the screen. When you press the switch, it increments the value in the status register. For your challenge, just as you did with the basic counter before, extend this design to be a 3-bit counter instead of just a 2-bit counter, because Lord knows we wouldn't want a 2-bit counter. That's it for the status register. In the next video, we'll talk about its complement, the control register, which will allow me to drive hardware wires from the firmware. Actually, that video is going to be funny because it'll be back in time again with the younger Alan, which I certainly wish I could do now. Anyway, as always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore haws at cypress.com. And thanks again for watching.